so guys we'll continue with our react development tutorials okay so at this stage you are still covering beginner topics like in this case you're seeing how to create a simple calculator so this calculator can perform addition as you guys can see we can perform subtraction we can also divide or yeah we can also multiply and we can also find the modulo so modulo basically means the remainder as you can see 10 divided by 3 is 3 but of course our remainder is going to be 1 so that is the modulo so this right here is a basic calculator okay so we can actually use it to perform various operations and this is actually going to allow us to uh, see various concepts in react okay so this is it right here we'll be covering a lot of react development in the previous tutorial we talked about installation and created a hello world project now we are continuing and seeing how to develop stuff in react okay so if you're just getting started with react this would be a perfect tutorial for you guys because it's very simple but also practical so this is what we're going to develop so let's get started step one is to actually install react if you haven't please go to our very first episode we talked about how to do that one okay we won't be repeating it again in our tutorials so our very one season one episode one we have installation right there so in this case you guys can see we have this is our project this of course hello world calculator and then we have the public folder this is going to contain our index.html file or our html files in general then src this will contain our source code so if you have other folders right there you can just delete them and just include index.js so we're going to write our react code and then style.css which will contain our css files then mo node modules of course this contains our node modules you don't have to create these ones this will actually be added during installation of react okay so you can just yeah recognize them but you don't modify anything in our node to in our node modules let's get started with our coding So that basically is our CSS you can actually see the body we specify the properties for the body then also we have the input okay where the user is going to enter the numbers to calculate our operands and then of course the button it's as simple as that our CSS file
and here's our react code first you can actually see we're making our imports in react when you are you want other packages or modules from other classes use the import keyword then of course we have created what we are calling a component in react okay so react is actually a component based library it's not a framework it's just a front-end library in this case we've created this component called app and we've made it extend the react.component so this right here you can see this is just a class like classes okay there's a way of encapsulation we have this object javascript object we are calling state state is going to contain for us two items or okay the first operand and then the second operand we've initialized them to zero then of course we have our first function or method which we are calling update input value this method is going to receive an event okay and then we come right here we're going to invoke this the set state to update our user interface now clearly you can see the value we'll be receiving we're going to be passing it converting it from a string to an integer okay because we receive it from our input field as a string then we pass it to an integer and then we have this other function or method we are calling add now this is going to add for us our first operand as you can see and second operand and show the result in a lot dialog the subtract method is going to subtract for us as you can see and show for us the result the divide divide for us and show result the multiply multiply for us while well the modulus is also going to give us the modulus between the first and second operand okay we say the modulus actually stands for the remainder o okay so we did that one and then lastly in that particular app component we invoke the return so given that this is a component it has to return of course we have to return it we have to render it I, okay so we invoke the render method right here and basically we are going to write what we are calling the jsx JS, jsx actually stands for javascript extension it's of course a way for us to actually write our html elements but using javascript okay using this jsx syntax so you can clearly see it does look like html however it's not html it is javascript and that's why you can see we are able to include for example these javascript expressions within our curly braces okay so this is it right here then when the buttons are clicked we invoke our various methods so that's within our component then outside that particular component we're going to invoke the render right here okay now render basically this is going to allow us to attach our component of course to our root div element so document .git element by id root then we pass in our component so this is it guys this is our index.js okay so lastly we have our index.html as you guys have seen now in this one you can see it's just a basic html file and then the important thing is that we've included this id root this div right here this is where our component is going to be added okay that's it i also yeah that's it okay so we have that one right there as our html file then if you want to run our project you come right here click new terminal then of course 
in this case we're going to use npm as usual so just click npm start so then click enter this is going to take a minute or two to start our development server and then serve for us our project okay and that's it you can actually see here's our url okay and in fact it started the browser so if we come over to the browser here you can see we have our project our first calculator so we can basically just come and perform no sorry our stuff type whatever we want we can add we can subtract okay we can divide then we can also multiply and we can also find the modulus so this is it guys this is what we've looked at the source code will attach it in the description also make sure you guys subscribe to our channel program users tv like the video and visit our website campusha.info otherwise take care i'll catch you in the next class